all the 32 bits so when we have when we have got all these 32 bits we can actually go beyond 2 billion and hence we can go up to 4.2 billion we can actually store 4.2 billion numbers uh, up to up to a, a 4.2 billion so that was all about integer now let's move on to the part um, of uh, let's move on to the part of using short short has got only two bytes so does u short or unsigned short so suppose short is actually a smaller data type in in memory we need to be efficient about our memory allocation when we create codes when we create scripts when we create programs we must must utilize memory uh, in the sense that we must use it in um, i i mean that we, we we are not supposed to waste memory we are not supposed to store a small number in a data type that can actually hold a long number suppose you want to store the number seven but you use the I guess you are using the uh, data type of long now the long data type has got a storage space of eight bytes you're actually store uh, wasting all this extra bytes in storing just a single integer so in that case when we want to be more efficient about our m uh, memory allocation we can move into using this data type of short now remember that unsigned always means positive now in short uh, or in unsigned short you can um, you can only store I guess um, it's uh, 65,000 up to 65,000 yeah 65,535 uh, but in short which means it can store both positive and negative smaller integers uh, smaller integers yep it can actually store uh, positive and negative uh, small integer numbers so it's going to have um, I guess it's going to have a range from minus 32,000 to plus 32,000 so you can't go beyond um, 32,000 I guess you can go at least uh, up to minus 32,768 yep and you can you cannot cross the limit of uh, positive uh, 32,767 so if you want to store a number that's positive and it's actually 40,000 you cannot use the type of short you need to use the type of u short which means it can only store positive numbers so in here too um, when we when we want to calculate how much memory we have in terms of bits it has actually got 2 into 8 which means we have got 16 bits now because it can store both positive and negative it can go uh, it will actually take away one bit from that 16 bit and it will only give us um, it will actually give us um, 15 bits to store our number and the one bit that it took away will be used to store either the negative um, and or the positive um, it's going to actually use that for negative uh, negative signs or uh, storing the negative uh, minus sign actually now but because unsigned is already a positive it can only take a positive number it, it does not it doesn't need to use that one byte or it doesn't need to I mean one bit it doesn't need to allocate that one bit for um, the storage of the uh, positive or negative symbol so because it's already positive we uh, have the excess of using we have the uh, freedom of actually using all these 16 bits of storage space now let's move on to the part of long discussing long now long can be used to store very large numbers you can actually store more than a trillion I guess it goes up to trillion two maybe yep and uh, it has a uh, 8 bytes of storage space and u long also has 8 bytes of storage space now like integer and short this u long can actually store um, I mean this long only this long can um, actually store up to so I guess 8 into 
um, 18 to 8 makes 64 bits so it can it cannot use all those 64 bits if we're you uh, if we are planning to use this long data type so it can stores it can use the 63 bits and the extra one bit or the extra one bit that it took away will be used to store the negative sign if we are using a negative number if we're trying to store a negative number but in use you long or unsigned long which is already a positive data type it can only take a uh, it can take a large uh, numeric whole number uh, it can take a uh, i mean it can take a uh, an integer whole uh, integer number that's very large perhaps that you might even want to store a number that's uh, maybe 200 trillion a positive 200 trillion so you can go on and use this u long so that will make our memory management more efficient so i haven't actually talked about the range because mm, the range is actually quite quite very very big so i guess that will f uh, suit your need already because it reaches i guess up to trillion one trillion two trillion three maybe so i guess it gets uh, minus nine trillion two i guess that's the number a uh, million billion and we have got the trillion trillion one and trillion two yep so it <coughs> sorry for that so it takes up to minus trillion two to positive nine um oh yeah it takes up to minus nine trillion two to positive nine trillion two that's the range for long and the range for uh, unsigned long is uh, po 18 positive 18 trillion two I guess that's the correct way of um, you know saying beyond the numbers uh, explaining beyond the numbers that's that goes beyond a trillion now let's move on to the simplest type that we know as byte I uh, I have already discussed about the byte it's actually also the uh, standard unit to measure memory inside our computers now the byte is also a data type in C sharp this byte has got only one bytes of storage which, which means it has got 8 bits now when we talk about sign this is actually a little different than the other integral types when we talk about short when you talk about uh, u short when you talk about int u int long u e long this is a little bit different now in here when we talk about signed byte this is actually the one uh, which will store minus uh, both negative and positive small uh, integer numbers it will be smaller than the short uh, data type so you can actually guess that by looking at the uh, two bytes of space now when we talk about the byte the signed byte in here which is s byte it's not u byte but the signed byte will actually store um, <coughs> I guess uh, it will have a range of <coughs> sorry for that it will have a range from minus 128 to my uh, positive 127 you can store a number in between minus 120 to positive uh, 127 but you can't go beyond that you can't store a number that's 200 to to if you want to um, actually store a number that's 200 maybe so you can use this this byte actually means unsigned byte in here uh, as I've already told you the byte is quite different the byte data type is actually quite different when we talk about only byte we actually mean unsigned byte but when we talk about s byte we mean signed byte in signed byte we have got uh, seven bits of storage space for our number and it has got a range from minus 128 to positive 127 so it can store both positive and uh, negative uh, small uh, whole numbers and uh, that uh, uh, and it has got a storage space of seven bits and the one bit that it takes away to store the negative uh, negative symbol 
and if we want to store a larger number suppose uh, 200 or 220 then we are going to use this byte now this byte is actually a s unsigned byte I'm repeating this so that you remember because this is quite different this it will be unsigned byte and it will only store positive number and it will only store positive whole numbers perhaps and it will be uh, it will it can store up to 255 I guess 255 yep it can store up to a positive number of 255 and you can st use that to um, um, store a, s a very small integer numbers now let's move on to the last integral type of char or car whatever you call it this is the character type now the character you might be wondering why is it inside the integral part it's not even an integer but perhaps it is an integer it is a number Th that's why it's included in the integer section so when we talk about char or car this char data type um, is uh, used to store um, actually a single character maybe so in computing system when we talk about the computer actually doesn't understand characters it doesn't uh, understand the alphabets a b c so this alphabets needs to be uh, deciphered by the you know, it needs to be explained to the computer using numbers it can the computer can only understand numbers so when we want to um, make the computer understand that we are going to use an alphabet of A or an alphabet of B we need to use numbers like 63 65 the A is A in computing is represented by the number of 63 maybe yep I guess that's the case and B in English is represented by the number of 64 maybe in computing so the computer actually understands number though so these are actually whole numbers 63 64 65 you go along all this alphabet uh, representing all these alphabets in numeric forms so all these are in uh, integral type or integer type that's why we are using this car or char data type now we can store a single character but when we want to store a large string or a large sentence maybe we are we need to use um, we are actually going to use the string I haven't included that I guess in here um, nope I, I haven't included the string data type in here now now we'll be talking about the string later on so let's finish up with the uh, char data type so the char data type 